the seven biggest mistakes made in divorce, and more importantly, how to avoid them. Let's go. David Klein, love it, as in I love it. Broker on our next home, First Choice Realty, hopefully your choice. We, we post videos each and every week on divorce, on probate, on real estate tips, on events and great things that are happening in Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, Huntington Beach and the surrounding area. So subscribe, hit the bell, give it a couple thumbs up, give me a comment and share with your friends. And let's go. Now a couple things of housekeeping before we get started. One, consult with your attorney, consult with your tax accountant, and stay to the end, stay to the end, stay to the end, stay to the end, because we're gonna give you a couple of free tools that can make you and save you tens of thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands, that means more than 10,000. Stay, 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 so let's get started. We'll see you at the end. Number one is people don't realize that California, and this is where we are, California is a community property state. Okay, David, great. What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means anything you acquire, a 16 unit apartment building, a Tesla, even if it's all your money, and you did it after you're married, your spouse has half interest in it. So you may want to talk to an accountant, talk to a lawyer, prenup, whatever, take care of that so you may not want them to own the Tesla or the 16 unit, be able to 50%. So number one, California is a community property state, beware. Mistake number two, big one, almost everybody falls for this one. A quick plan deed gets me, I'm free, I'm not responsible. No, and I bet you, you hear so many people say, my spouse ruined my credit, this is a big one. It makes sense, I quick claim title, I'm, I'm not responsible, no. Title and the loan are two separate things. You may be off title, but you're still responsible for the loan. You have to pay that loan. They go to foreclosure, you got a foreclosure on your taxes, on your on your credit. You're, you're, excuse this language, but screwed. So what do you do? You're gonna have to refinance or sell. You can call me if you like. So mistake number two is thinking a quick claim deed is gonna relieve your responsibilities. Not at all. Common mistake. Uh, number three is same thing with uh, homeowners insurance. Same kind of thing. You wanna make sure you are listed as the one of the beneficiaries. Meaning, if the house burns down, they don't write a million dollar check and just give it to your spouse and nothing to you. You want them to give two checks for half a million. So make sure the insurance, make sure it's up to date, make sure it's paid, make sure it's existing, and make sure that you are listed as a beneficiary. Mistake uh, number four is, let's say we decide to keep the house, you move, I'll stay. Let's try to figure it out even more. There's a lot to consider. They're not doing anything. You're having to make the mortgage payment, you're having to pay the taxes, you're having to pay the insurance, and you have to maintain the property. I managed a home for a lot of years. We had to redo the driveway, I mean, a lot of years, the, the rain gutters, the garage door, we had to redo the, the uh, pool lining. It, it went on and on. I knew a heater we put in over the years. I mean, you could you could be responsible for 10, 20, 30, $40,000, so you really need to figure that out, or go ahead and sell it. It makes it a whole lot easier. That's mistake number four. Mistake number five is selling your home after you're divorced for tax purposes. For tax purposes, you wanna sell your home before you get divorced because there's a $500,000 exemption. It means you don't have to pay taxes on that. $500,000 of profit, nothing. But guess what? You get divorced, that 500,000 gets cut in half. Mistake number five, selling your home after the divorce. Not good tax-wise. Uh, number six, and this is a little known fact. In fact, I just learned it myself. You can get a temporary restraining order, meaning your spouse can't refinance or sell the home when you're not looking. Don't want that to happen. So you talk to your lawyer, get a temporary restraining order, property restraining order, you know, so they can't do that. And then the very last thing, just so you know, number seven, is if you do settle the property, just this is uh, surveys, say the survey says, 
if you do settle the property issues, your divorce is going to take about 12 months. But if you don't, it's going to take probably 16, 17, 18 months. So if you want to be done with it six, seven, eight months sooner, go ahead and settle the property. Get the property sold so it's out of the way. So those are the seven biggest mistakes. So right here, there's a, a video right here on how to get your home ready for sale and another one with paint colors. Paint colors alone can save you 20, 30, 40, $50,000 if you have the right paint color when you sell. And getting it ready for sale is the same thing. These two videos could be worth 50,000 each and let's let's round it off and be a little bit more reasonable, maybe $25,000 each. Watch those two videos and you can make a cool 50 G. Hey, we'll see you next week. David Klein Lovett, broker owner, next home, first choice, hopefully your choice realty. We'll see you soon.